Well, we're here in Florida, and we just got word that the Florida State Parks are closing for the next 60 days, starting March 20th. And so we've got to make some decisions on what we're going to do next, and we're going to share them with you right after this. Hi Heidi, my name's uh, Randall Hill, and I've got a I've got a bunch of reservations, but I've got one that actually starts tomorrow. And I'm just curious on all of these. What is your policy? Because the parks are closing, are you still going to charge fees when I cancel them? Or okay, so you, you don't have to do anything. The one that's for tomorrow, um, I will put a note on it, but anything that you do have to do is just Hi everybody, this is Randy and Diane from Zephyr's Travels and today is March 17th and things have kind of gone crazy in the world and, and especially in, in our world, you know, because we're out traveling. Um, and so we're kind of posting a special vi uh, video that will go up tomorrow on the 18th and it's going to give you an update of where we're at and what we're doing trying to handle the everything that's going on with the coronavirus and our RV travels. So we left home a little over a week ago and we are in Florida and our intent was to be here for at least through the month of March and into April and then head up into Georgia and then head home the end of April. So we are uh, going to be on the road for about seven weeks. Um, well we <laughs> Seems we're going to have to make some changes. Uh, we got notification that the Florida State Parks are now not allowing any more overnight visitors as of... Regarding your Florida State Park reservation, the safety and welfare of our employees and the public we serve are of top priority. Out of abundance of caution, the TEP is closing the Florida State Parks camping and overnight facilities March 18th through May 15th due to coronavirus safety precautions. Um, and we had multiple reservations at state parks. And so that kind of made us think about what do we want to do. And Diane and I talked about it. And I know Diane was you know, wanting to try to continue our vacation down here, or our travels down here, if we could. But we got thinking about other things too. And, and you know, do we have a... An emergency plan what if one of us were to get sick what would we do and, and when you start thinking about that and you know trying to quarantine yourself in a travel trailer and and you start thinking about how much dependent you are on other things while you're in a travel trailer it, it really makes you start to wonder if that you know for us is not the best plan to have we gave it some thought and I think our, our plan is because we do have a home, you know, our, our, that we can go back to, it probably makes sense for us to go back to that home. Um, you know, we could stay here. I mean, we could stay in um, private campgrounds mm -hmm. and we could pro you know, probably wouldn't have a problem. And, you know, and a part of me feels that, you know, being here in campgrounds and being where you're outside more, you have a little better chance of staying away from the virus. There's no science to this. It's just my feeling. Um, but you are running the risk of being in contact with people, and, and it is c carried by people, and so you want to make sure that you don't risk that. And you also don't want to run, what if one of us were to get sick and we we're in a campground? What will we do? Because essentially both of us then are contaminated with the virus. Whether we're both sick or not, it, do it doesn't matter. You know, I could infect somebody else if I wasn't the one that was sick, but I had to go out and get food or medicine or whatever for Diane. And so it makes sense that, you know, we shouldn't put other people at risk, shouldn't put ourselves at risk, and, and we probably should just head home, 
you know, kind of hunker down at home like, you know, the they're selling everybody should do. And from there, you know, wait this out and hopefully we can continue our uh, travels later. Um, you know, right now we've been getting a lot of notifications that a lot of events that we were planning on attending are being canceled. Or and, postponed. Or postponed. We were planning on going to Illumina Palooza in June, and that has been postponed and tentatively rescheduled for September. And the um, International Airstream Rally has been canceled, canceled completely, mm -hmm. and that was the end of June. And so, you know, we don't know what we're going to be doing next. I guess is where I'm coming at. Right. Um, you know, there, it's, there's a lot of uncertainty right now, and until things kind of get straightened out and you know, back to a new normal, because I don't think we're ever going to see a normal like we've had in the past for quite a while. Um, but until we get to a new normal where uh, we can better make decisions, it's best just to pack the airstream up and head home. Yes, unfortunately, back to the cold. <laughs> yeah. I know. Monty and Zephyr will be okay with that. They like the cold weather. Right. They uh, like their backyard and their friends. So they'll be happy with it. Right. And spring is... Is it today or tomorrow? It's Yeah. It's some, not, it's, sometime this week. Yeah, this week. And so the weather will be changing. It will be getting better um, when we get home. Right. And we don't know how long these restrictions will last. So, you know, it's possible come into April, they may lift some of the restrictions and we may decide to um, go out traveling again. Yeah. Yeah. We, you know, our plans were to end up in Georgia the end of April and we do have a reservation still um, in Georgia that I think for now I'm going to keep. I can always cancel it later, but we may just take off and head down to Georgia the end of the month for a little bit. We may not. I mean, it's still up in the air. But we wanted to share with you um, what's going on with us. All right. Well, we're, we're back. We had a battery go dead, and we had to swap that out. Um, so we do have some content that we have filmed that we will share um, that we've done over the last week. Um, we will share about this campground because I think it's pretty neat. And we will try to do what we can to share content during this time because... You know, everybody wants to be able to escape, even if we're stuck in our homes. You know, YouTube is a way for people to kind of escape and, and, you know, not have to, you know, deal with the what's going on in the rest of the world for a few minutes or whatever. And so we want to try to provide stuff to you as we can. Um, so we're doing the best we can um, on that. And I guess that's it. Yep. So, guys... We hope everyone stays safe. You do what you need to do um, to make sure you maintain your safety. Keep your social distance. And we will see you down the road in the future. Okay. Bye.